Welcome to the Root Cause Revolution podcast with functional and integrative nurse nutritionist and energy medicine practitioner, Audrey Christie. Hi, friends. Welcome to episode 255 of the Root Cause Revolution podcast. I'm your host, Audrey. If this is your first time listening, I just want to take a second to introduce myself. If you've never heard of a weird practitioner like me, I am a root cause clinician. I specialize in helping you to stop masking your symptoms and start healing from chronic chronic illness, autoimmune disease, and all those little symptoms that have just been hanging around, right? All those things that we think are normal, but they're not normal. They might be common, but they're not normal. Like having, you know, a terrible menopause or having PMS cramps or uh, having acne on your chin or any of those things that catching colds every time you walk through the door, any of those things that aren't normal, joint pain, um, but we feel like are, are normal because so many people have them. So I work with people who have tried it all and still aren't at the level of health and wellness that they deserve and desire. We work together using a non-traditional approach that includes naturopathy, functional nutrition, functional wellness, and energy medicine. And I specialize in helping you start your own root cause revolution to rebalance your body so it can heal for good. So you can heal for good. So if you're done with band-aids, ready for real solutions, I can help. Now, let's dive into today's episode. As a practitioner that specializes, like I just said, in autoimmune conditions, chronic illnesses, those things that just won't go away, I have the honor of investigating the root causes of hundreds and hundreds of of chronic health issues every single year. And often we can track it back to uh, a root that may seem unrelated on the surface, and that is commonly used medications. Yeah, commonly used medications. Now, an autoimmune disease or chronic illness is a tree with many roots. Uh, even, even those, you know, if you're trying to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds and you just can't and you're doing everything right, that is a tree with many roots. Meaning the, what you're seeing on the outside, your symptoms, the expression of your symptoms in your body doesn't have just one cause, right? It's, it's not because you eat too much. It's not because you're eating the wrong things. It's not because your body is attacking itself with an autoimmune disease. There is, it's not inflammation. Inflammation isn't a root cause. And that's a, a previous episode you can go, um, listen to just search up Audrey Christie and inflammation. The, Root cause is many things, right? And one of the things that contributes to your illness, your autoimmune condition, your chronic disease is routinely using medications that are made to Band-Aid those things like Advil, ibuprofen, Aleve, Tylenol, right? Over-the-counter stuff, over-the-counter allergy medicine like Zyrtec, um, Allegra, all of those things. Even some long-term prescription medications like birth control pills, those have really bad downstream consequences. And how many of us spent 10, maybe 15, maybe even 20 years on birth control? Because no matter what problem you go see an OBGYN with, their answer is, oh, well, you need to be on birth control pills, right? Um, So, and it's not just those medications. It's medications for, it's like your antacids, right? Your PPI inhibitors, your Prilosex, your Tums, your Rolaids. If you're taking those routinely, guess what? Or if you took those routinely a long time ago, guess what? That is contributing to, or maybe even one of the root causes for the symptoms that you have right now, right? The autoimmune disease that you've been diagnosed with, those symptoms that you've been going from doctor to doctor to doctor to try to find out what's going on with you. And they keep saying, oh, your labs are fine. Meanwhile, you feel like crap, right? Well, rather than go through the large body of research on all of these common medications, and I did that way back in like season, uh, season two, I think, some, somewhere in the episode 80 something mark, I went through some common medications and the downstream consequences of those. We'll probably revisit some of those and add some new ones to the list here soon. But rather than go through all of that in today's episode, I'm going to give you some more actionable and more brief information, right? Um, before we talk about this, you should know that medications can be important and life-saving, but when are medications something that you should be reaching for? And the only time you should be reaching for medications is in acute situations. 
acute situations, not chronic situations. You will never find the answer to a chronic illness in a pill, in a bottle, even in a supplement, right? You can use supplements to get better, um, to create sufficiency where there was once a nutritional deficiency, but you will never find the real cure, the real healing for what's wrong with you inside of a medication for a chronic illness. However, medications are important and life-saving in acute situations. If you have strep throat, you should probably take an antibiotic for that, right? If you have a bad infection, you're probably going to need an antibiotic. If your appendix has already burst, you're going to need surgery. If you are having a heart attack, you might need a stent or uh, a bypass. But know that those things are all band-aids, okay? So if you have if your appendix bursts, you're going to need medication and you're going to need surgery and you're going to need intervention because that is an acute problem, something that is happening right now. When it becomes a chronic problem, when you have, after your heart surgery, if you don't change anything, you're going to have chronic heart disease, right? If you get strep throat all of the time, that becomes a chronic problem. If you have high blood pressure for a week because you're super stressed or when you go into a doctor's office because you kind of have that white syndrome, white coat syndrome, then those are acute problems. But when you have high blood pressure all the time, that has become a chronic problem and now it's time to look at other options. Don't stop taking your high blood pressure pills, but you need to be looking for other solutions. So there are three questions that you ask, they're critical for you to ask as a patient whenever it is recommended to you that you take a prescription or over-the-counter medication for an ongoing issue. And asking these questions will help you to understand and be more realistic about the consequences of the use and overuse of these medications that we just think are safe and we continue taking forever. When, if you read the instructions, on the package, it says not to take Zyrtec every day for longer than two weeks, right? And people take it every day year around. Okay. I'm going to get off my soapbox with this, but here are the three questions. Number one, doc hands your prescription. Well, we're going to put you on this drug. It's a great drug. You're going to take it once a day. Your first question, are there any options before trying this medication? Are there any other options here before trying this medication? Doc might say no. They may also say, yes, doc, you want to give me Lipitor for my cholesterol. Are there any other options before trying this medication? Why, yes, we can actually try red yeast rice, which I know uh, several family practitioners will try. We can also try diet modifications. We can try this for 12 months or, or 12 months, three months or six months and see if we can make a difference in your cholesterol. And then it's up to you to get to work, by the way. <laughs> now, the second question, whether they say yes or no. All right especially if they say yes. All right, doc. So you're saying I have to take Lipitor, which by the way, you don't, but that's an episode for another day. Um, what are the consequences of taking Lipitor? What are the intended and unintended consequences of taking this medication? Now, here's a hint for you. All medications have side effects, <laughs> every single one. So if the doc says, oh, there's not any side effects, don't accept that answer. <laughs> Ask for more information. You might have to ask the pharmacist, right? Talk to the pharmacist if the doctor doesn't know. Also begin considering why the doctor is giving you a medication to put in your body that they don't know the side effects for, right? And then the third question to ask, and this one is just as important as the other two, what is the plan to get off this medication? All right, now the answer to that might be, I don't have a plan for that. You're gonna take this forever. And that's when it becomes up to you to figure out how to get off that medication. Up to you to find a practitioner that can help you get off that medication, right? Because ultimately, you are responsible for your own human suit. The doctor's not responsible for your human suit. I'm not responsible for your human suit. You are. And so being an advocate for yourself is one of the best ways to take that responsibility. It's one of the best ways for you to understand the risks and the unintended complications and even the alternative options for the medications that you are prescribed. And sometimes the doctor may say there's no alternatives. But if you know that there is an alternative, and friends, there are, all, are alternatives for literally everything that people have success with. There are options 
to avoid taking a medication. Now, again, in acute situations, if your blood pressure is high and it's been high, you might have to take a blood pressure pill while you figure out what's wrong so that you can address that from the root cause. If we're talking about blood pressures, usually it's a heavy metal issue combined with a stress issue. Very, very easy to fix and get off your medication, okay? So what I want you to get from this are the three questions. Number one, doc says, hey, I'm gonna give you this prescription. And it's not something something acute. You know, if they say, you're gonna take this for five days and be done, that's a little bit different. And give you a prescription for 30 days with three refills. All right, doc, what are the other options before trying this medication? Number two, what are the intended and unintended consequences of taking this medication? And number three, what is the plan to get off this medication altogether? All right, friends, don't forget, you are responsible for your human suit, no one else. And remember, I'm always, always rooting for you. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to the Root Cause Revolution podcast. Be sure and subscribe on your favorite podcast provider. Ratings and reviews are always appreciated.